All right, so welcome back to my new video. Um, this video is going to be about how we can read um, CSV files, okay, using Golang. So I'm using Golang IDE. So I'm going to jump right into the IDE and see how we can um, we can read CSV files. So I'm currently in the Golang IDE. So I'm going to create on um click on file new projects and then i'm going to call it um reading csv okay so this project is going to create um model reading csv and then this is the Go version, but I'm going to delete this. And then inside the terminal, I'm going to initialize this model. So I'm going to say Go mod init uh, github.com slash reading CSV. So if I do that, See, it created this go.mod file for me. So I'm going to say go mod tidy. Okay, so I'm going to create another directory for model. And then um, let me create, let me. Okay, let me create a new Go file called main. And then inside this model, I'm going to create a Go file that I'm going to call movies. So I can call it movies no main file so i'm going to create a strat and call it movies data and this movie data has a, a user id which is of string, string type movies id which is of also a string type and their ratings, which is also of string type. And then the last one timestamp, which is of string type. Okay. Um, that is all for this uh, movies uh, model or package. So let me bring in our CSV file. So I'm going to paste in our movies file. So the movies file has four columns, user ID, movies ID, rating, and timestamp. Okay, so let me close that. And inside our main Go file, um, I'm going to read this CSV file. So I'm going to call it OS dot open this file, which we call in data dot CSV. <coughs> this is going to return a CSV file and then an error, which we want to handle. So we're going to call if error is not equal to nil, we want to uh, panic and print the error. Else, we want to print successfully open CSV file. Okay. And then we're going to close this file, but we are going to defer it for now. CSV file dot 
close. So now we're going to read this CSV line after line. So we're going to say CSV dot new reader, and then we're going to pass in our CSV file, and then we say read all, read everything. And this is going to return CSV lines, and then some error that we need to handle. Um, so we're going to say if, value or error is not equal to nil, we want to panic. This, we're repeating a code. We could have written a function for this, um, but let's do it this way for now. We're repeating all this, but we could have written a, a function for this and then <coughs> call it each time we need it, okay? But let's put it this way so that we can grab the concept. So after that, we now want to look over the CSV line. So we say for is going to return an index and a value. We're not interested in the value. We're interested in the in the index. We're interested in the value. So we say line range CSV lines. And then now we want to call this movies struct okay so i'm going to import it here call it um, github.com reading csv slash model okay um so i'm going to call it m movie this is a shortcut so i'm going to say m dot movies data you see um, because it's a strat, we need to um, pass in this um, user ID. And then we say line, we grab the first one at index zero. And then we move to the movies and then we grab the second line at index one and then the rating at index two and then the timestamp and then at index three in the three but we want to assign this to movies okay want to assign this thing to movies variable. So outside, um, outside this strat, okay? But we are still in the movies for loop. So we are going to say FMT movies dot um, user ID. We want to concatenate it So I'm going to do this thing on multiple lines. So, so I'm going to say movies dot movies ID. Concatenate movies dot um, the ratings. Concatenate it. And then we say movies dot timestamp. Movies dot timestamp. And then um, I think that is all. So we can close this. So we're just concatenating all these values as we look over each line, okay? So this is how you import your models 
And this is how you can call your models, your strat type. Um, and in the main function, um, we do all this. And then um, I think, yeah, that is all. So let's try to run this and see if it's going to work. So I'm going to click on the green button. OK, so I think it works. So this is the user ID, the movie ID, the rating, and then the timestamp. We could have also converted this uh, unit timestamp to uh, a real time, okay? A real date time value instead of this unit timestamp. So I think it works. So that is all for now. If you don't understand anything, please um, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'm ready to help you. Um, until then, um, see you in the next one.